Hello, happy Friday, March 29, 2024, we are live again 
RLV, which stands for Ricky Las Vegas Tech USA. We are live, coming in with some thunder. That's right. So how's everybody doing? So first off, normally SMT does live streams on Friday night, but guess what? It's happy anniversary. For SMT, the big YouTuber, he's celebrating his anniversary, taking his lovely wife on some dinner. So we want to say congratulations to him for having a great marriage, which is kind of hard to have nowadays. Marriage is a really hard thing to crack nowadays. It takes two peas in a pod to make things work. So it's like forced and, and uh, what was the name? I can't remember what his name was. Forced and, uh, man, I can't remember what her name was. Dang, I'm drawing a blank on that, so. But yeah, congratulations, SMT. So we can do a live stream live. So we figured we'd come in here, do a topic. Caleb is busy. It's a holiday weekend. A lot of people are busy. Easter's coming up. Happy Easter to everybody. And so, but I figured, hey, why don't we give you guys a little live stream today? So sorry to start so late, but me and Carlos was yakking like crazy on the phone here, just talking about things, all that stuff. So, and the topic tonight, so what are we going to talk about? I said, hey, why don't we talk about push to talk over cellular? Because it's using cellular, right? It's using a SIM card over cellular, so it qualifies as wireless tech, right? And since me and Carlos now have a dealership now, we're our authorized dealer now. Why not talk about push to talk over selling? Why not? Show you guys what it is, how it works, and a little bit about what our dealership is and, and the, who the dealers we're with and, and show you some walkie talkies. Yeah. Kind of like replacing Nextel back in the day. You guys remember Nextel? Don't get the poll question. So, yeah, poll question's up. So, answer the poll question. Let me see. Let me go to it and make sure it's there. Let me find it. Yeah, I know I'll just head on the screen. Look at this. Is it right here? Yep, there it is. There's the poll question. And it is Did you have Nextel back in the day when it was out? And so, yes or no. Now, it's kind of an old technology. So, many of you younger folks probably was just little kids when it was out. So, you probably. Oh, didn't probably didn't get to experience it. But I'm sure you heard about it. Okay, so it was one of the best systems out there because analog was a failure, and then TDMA, which is the first digital mode that came out, it was kind of a failure. It was crazy, and then Nextel came out and then changed the whole game. It's like wow, got an actual low band frequency with this new technology and the phone calls were crystal clear really really good the coverage was good it was fully digital and i had to walk the talk with each other you know so it was really really great so so let me pop out this chat so i can find it quicker next time here let's see there we go pop out the chat so i can see more too Get the, Get it up here on the screen, a little bigger, so I can see it. So yeah, let me know in uh, in the chat how you guys doing, what you guys doing this weekend for the holiday weekend, four day weekend. Well, three day weekend, I should say, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or actually Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's actually a three day. Or some people have to go back to work Monday because you know since it's Easter Sunday. So yeah, just let us know what you're up to, what you're doing, and what you're going to do this weekend. And we'll go from there. Okay, so let me get this back on my page here so I can see everything. All right. First up, we have Kazi here. How you doing, Kazi? Corey's here. Must be too young. I didn't even know what next out is, really. Well, you're going to find out tonight. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about what it is. We're going to show what happened. Of course, you know, the first walkie-talkies that ever came out were just plain old FM 2A radios for businesses 
for police departments, fire departments. It was just, and before the repeaters even came out, we just had, it was simplex. Simplex or talk around is just radio to radio. So basically you have, you got two radios. This radio is on a frequency. This one's on a frequency. We're on the same frequency. So the signal comes out of this antenna and goes straight to this antenna. That, that's simplex, radio to radio, or portable radio to mobile radio, or mobile radio to base radio, portable radio to mobile, you know, it's just anything like that. Now, when you have put in a repeater, like the GMRS repeaters, it's out now, if you haven't got your GMRS license. Now it goes, this radio goes up to the repeater, 3,000 foot up on a mountaintop, and then it transmits it back out 50 watts back to this radio, and it gives you a whole 50 mile circle radius or more. So basically, this radio goes up to the repeater, this one comes back. So it literally takes a handle radio and gives it 50 mile range. Whereas normally, this radio and this radio has a three mile range. Well, one to three mile if you're in heavy buildings and trees and stuff like that. But if you're line of sight, which means you're on a mountaintop and you're in the valley, it, you can literally get 15, 20 miles because it's, uh, there's no obstructions. Depends on the frequencies too, whether you use EHF, UHF, or whatever like that. But walkie talkies are pretty cool. So, and I encourage everybody to get their GMRS license. So, we may even show you that too. I think we'll go on there and, and show you how to do that. So, I, because if the cell phone stuff goes completely out, these cell phone walkie talkies will go out too. But if you have the GMRS, you can talk on the local repeaters or amateur radio. And you'll still have communication with nobody else does. So when the repeater goes to, or the phone system goes down, that's where everybody's going to be. They're, they're going to be getting on GMRS. And a lot of police departments and dispatch centers are not getting GMRS radio systems put installed. So if emergency happens and there's a GMRS repeater nearby, they could tune into it. So then they can dedicate one GMRS repeater for emergency use only. So since you can't call 911, you go on that radio and you say, 911, I have a medical emergency at this address. And they say, okay, no problem. Because their radios are going to work because they don't use the internet. They have their own private system. So all the repeater systems that the police and fire use all interconnected together. They got microwave, they got battery backups and everything. So they got a good system. So you can lose complete phone lines and still have communication. So they can still send you help, but they won't know you need help unless you call the phone. If you can't call the phone, Cell phones are down. Screw. It's like, sorry, no 911's coming. So, yeah, so we're going to talk to you a lot about some communications tonight. So, we are live and direct, live and direct. It's your boy, always real, never fake. Old B Deck USA, baby in the building. Thank you, baby. Yoda. Appreciate having good moderators and people promote the channel and everything. Mm, mm, mm. Got some black tea here. I'm not drinking any more coffee right now. I'm switching to tea. This black tea is amazing. You are ready. What's up? Mm -hmm. Please show us some love. Make sure you hit that like button. Share the stream to all your friends and family too. Yeah. I put this link on Twitter. I'll put it in all the Discord channels. So we should get a pretty good crowd here. We got 15 people here. Yeah, and Carlos' live stream that night was great. Man, it was great watching him on the live stream downtown again. So it was great. Carlos is working right now, so he may pop in here a little bit. So but he's, he's not making money right now. So well, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Hello, Mike. You are ready. Let's learn about Push to Talk. BTT stands for Push to Talk. Oversell you. That's right. Archie Mobile, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. You are on the air with Ricky. Caller, what is your question? <laughs> Try to sound like a talk show host. Right? It's crazy. Nextel was a cell phone company that allowed you to make CB radio calls? No. Not true. Nextel was not. Nextel was a cell phone company. It's a cell phone company, but it was not CB radio calls. No, over the cell phone. But no, it, it, may, it had you do push to talk communication. So you can dial a number and call somebody, or you can hit a button 
you select their name in your in your in your next out, and then you push the button, and then it would it would chirp across your speaker, and then you would say, "Hey, yeah, go ahead, Bill. What's up?" And they'd say, "Hey, we're going to the movies. Want to come?" Sure, yeah, okay. So it's quicker to do a quick push to talk communication than it is the dial phone. Plus, you could have 30, 40, 50 people like a party line. So when you push, you can make a group up. So you can make 50 people in one group. You push that button, all 50 radios keys up. So it, it was pretty amazing how it worked. Really good. And I used to be a salesperson for the next step. I worked actually at a, a Nextel dealer back in 2008, I think it was. They sold cell phones and they sold Nextels. And I was the top sales guy for like three months in a row. And it's pretty cool because I'd have all these people come in. I had businesses. I had construction companies that I had contracts with. They come in, they buy 20, 20 phones from me. And then I think a little bit other business. But several businesses came in. So I sold lots and lots of radios. There were phones, radios, whatever you want. There was actually a phone that just had that push to talk feature going in it. So. And of course, you know, I don't know if you guys heard the news or not, but oh, Skunky, Skunky took the guy that took over the Nextel name and started his push to talk over cellular company. And he bought the Nextel name. But guess what? Skunky took him to court and stole the name back. So now Skunky has control of the Nextel name. And look out because they're going to go on a marketing deception and lies blitz. Saying next down's back. BS, it's not back. All they're going to do is just going to set up some kind of push to talk over their skunky network. And I'm going to show you here in a minute why our system, the Million Carlos has, that we're dealers for, this system is better, much better. They've been doing it longer. So they've been doing it for a while, for many years. So they got it down. It's, it's really good. The servers they use is good. The servers they use is different from using what Skunky is going to use. Skunky is going to use cell phone routing. But hey, guess what? If the cell phone routing goes down, guess what? The radios are going to go down. And what's nice about what we sell is we got special servers or special circuits. So it's not involved in, in the cellular stuff. So if the cellular stuff, if, as long as you got data at the towers, we're still going to work. Plus our radios have Wi-Fi. So you can actually connect the Wi-Fi and still push the talk back and forth, even if phone lines go down. So, yeah, Nextel was bought by Sprint, and Sprint ruined them. And then Sprint was bought by T-Mobile. So now T-Mobile thinks that they can just, oh, well, we can just sue to get that name back. So, well, they won in court, so they probably, I'm sure they paid somebody off. They paid the judge off, so they won. They got it. So they have the trademark on Nextel. But, it's okay. It's going to be trash. Trash mobile. Exactly. Ricky, audio sounds muffled. Oh, shit. Wow, why would my audio sound muffled? It's crazy. Here, let me go listen to myself on the, on the stream and see what it sounds like. Let's see. Let me try myself here. Let me hit play. Let me hit play and unmute myself. Let's see. Oh, I know what's happening. Oh, I know what's going on. It's using my webcam mic. It's not using my, this mic. This mic. That's exactly what I have. Okay. Thanks for letting me know that. I should have checked that. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Yep. Sounds like shit. Oh, here, let me fix it right now. Yep. Oh, it's using my headphones. <laughs> It's using the microphone in this headset, which is not a very good headset. So let me switch it back here. Let's see. All right, fixed. Now we're on this mic, the studio mic. One, two, three, check, check. All right, there, that's much better. All right, now we sound like RLB Tech now. 
All right, thanks, Baby Yoda, for letting me know about that, because I don't want to sound like poo-poo. See, I just give you an instant on what you would sound like if you're on Skunky Push to Talk, right? That's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it Skunky Push to Talk. That's what it is. Welcome to Skunky Push to Talk. All right. Happy Friday. It's cool. Cloudy, cool, 58. It might rain. Yeah, we're supposed to get a bunch of rain tomorrow. 0. 0.3 to 0. 0.5 inches of rain tomorrow. Well, it's warm over here right now. It's 77 degrees over here right now. Well, it got up to 77, but now it's dropping. It's 69 now. It's 77 in here now. I got the windows open, so I'm trying to cool it off in here. It doesn't help when you're live streaming. You got the heat coming off this. Uh, I should open this other window up over here, but oh, well, I'll be all right. It's a dry heat, so the relative humidity is 20%, so it's dry. So it's not like, you know. Not like swamp ass in Florida, you know, for sure. All right. Corey, Ricky would call T-Mobile, Trash Mobile, Skunky, Skunky Mobile. Yep, yep, you figured it out. Did you ask T.W. if he would be interested in your radios for his business on YouTube? Uh, T.W., I forget who T.W. was. Let's see, I just came from Vancouver, Canada. Using Cricket multi-month plan, I was connected to Rogers, LTE, all time. Tried to configure the phone for 5G, but it only connected LTE. Hmm. Yep, I, I don't know anything about uh, Rogers. And I don't know what roaming deals Cricket has. My guess is Cricket doesn't have roaming 5G capability with Rogers. That's probably what happens. You probably have just LTE roaming, so... So I don't know. I'd have to do a deep dive in that and figure that out. So I was getting speeds up to 500 megabits on LTE over there. Well, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, if you get four or five carrier aggregation on LTE, you can get good speeds and you got backhaul going to the site. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with LTE. Actually, LTE is actually not too bad for what it is. It's just there's limitations. You don't have no MIMO. You don't have no other stuff you know like big channels you, you're limited to like 10 or 20 megahertz channels so that's that's what what's makes it very very tough so you're limited on channels so but if you got five channels you got 20 megahertz per channel two four six eight ten that's 100 megahertz so if you have five 20 megahertz channels then yeah you can do some pretty good speed but you have to have a pretty current modem you have to have a newer modem if your modem can only do three carry aggregation, then you can do 320. So that's that's the key is having a modem that can do more carrier aggregation. And the carrier aggregation is basically taking one channel of 20 and another channel of 20, you add them get so it's carrier aggregation. So carrier is like a bandwidth channel, and you aggregate, which means add. So you carrier aggregate. So you take the channel, you add it. So you got 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20. And that's how we have N77 non-standalone. Yeah. 20 of 66, 20 of band two. Then you get a 100 megahertz channel, which is the maximum channel size for N77. Then you get another channel of, of 60. And you add them all up together. Now you got non standalone, which is half LTE and half 5G. So it's not even 100% 5G. And even if they converted the, the LTE bands to 5G, which would be fake 5G because they don't have the new radio technology then that would make it become standalone, but it would be fake standalone because half of it would be real, the other half not. So the only way to have true 100% standalone is to have 100% of the channels all massive MIMO. And with the FCC screwing everything up, not gonna happen. So until the FCC gets off their ass, gets us some spectrum out there, gets some auctions up there, we need some seven gigahertz C-band, 8 gigahertz C band and some 12 gigahertz, 13 gigahertz, which is X band. So we need some more bands. And 5G Advance is not ready yet. Once 5G Advance comes out, then we'll be use, using Giga MIMO on millimeter wave and it will act just like band two. Actually, be better. Giga MIMO on millimeter wave on a macro site is going to outperform any LTE. Any low band, any mid band. It's going to be incredible. 
I saw Skunky announced Push to Talk. Yes, that's what we're talking about here tonight. Ricky! What's up, Silva? Good to see you tonight, buddy. EM Tech says, sounds good. Okay, so the, back on the studio, mate. Uh, good to see you, EM Tech. And uh, we still haven't had that chat about fake 5G. I know I just said it, so it's kind of crazy, you know. <laughs> haven't had that 5G tech or fake 5G talk yet. But hey, I did live stream. I already explained it many, many times. But hi, Jackson. How you doing? Audio is tremendous now. Yes, I love this microphone. This thing is great. It's a M-A-O-N-O, -O, whatever that is. I know it's a ch cheap Chinese brand, but it's it's a pretty good mic. It's a, uh, let's see, what what is the tech on it? What, uh, it's a condenser mic, and I know it's got, it's got a huge diaphragm on it. It's like a 25 millimeter diaphragm, so it's really good good diaphragm. It's got studio, it's, I think it's 24-bit, I think it is. I forget the exact specs, but the Carlos got this mic, and I could not believe how good he sounded on it. You know, it makes him sound like a, 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 a live sports you know, commentator or whatever, you know. So it makes him sound big and bodacious, and like, you know, you get that big studio voice and stuff. It's like, and we got Bubblegum. He's on, he's sticking to the rail. We got worm worming his way up you know it's like you know when you're doing a you know horse race you know when you know when they're calling it out and stuff so it's kind of crazy so but yeah i i love the audio on this and uh thank god we got the 1080p still because i wasn't able to pay this the stream yard so the stream yard is late they give me a grace period so i can do 1080p till they shut me off i don't have the money right now to pay for the stream yard so 50 bucks a month. Haven't got very much donation, so. But we figure we'll try a live stream this week, see what happens, so. Got to keep the cash flowing so we can keep live streaming. And work has been slow right now, so kind of struggling. But we do have a, a radio convention coming up at the convention center. So the Las Vegas convention center is called uh, NAB, National Association of Broadcasters. So you got all kinds of stuff about radio tech, you know, broadcasting, amateur radio, GMRS, all that kind of stuff. It's it's a pretty big convention. So I signed up for some shifts. I'm going to be working out there. So I'm going to be at the West Hall. And you know I'll be out there at the West Hall. I don't know if I can live stream while I'm on duty. I don't think they'll like that if I'm live streaming while I'm at work. But I will be getting you guys some speed tests while I'm out there. Speaking of speed tests... If you haven't signed up already, make sure you go to coveragemaps.com, Stetson Doggett's site. He has got a really, really, really good site for speed testing and showing you maps from the FCC, showing you signal strength, showing you how good the service is in your area. It's not 100% reliable, but it's better than a carrier's lion maps, you know? So you can do speed tests. You can upload them from uh, Ookla. If you got an iPhone, you can now do speed tests directly from the iPhone app and go straight up to the servers and you can get yourself on the leaderboard and work your way up so here in nevada i'm like number one for the past year and and for all-time high in nevada uh, on speed tests i'm already like the fifth place so i'm catching up the west weasel i'm catching i'm trying to catch up to him because he's number three i think it is three or four and then of course carlos is number one you know carlos is the speed testing king man I think and his all-time points right now in Nevada, I think, is like a hundred and some thousand points. And I'm at 20,000 points right now. I think, no, 16,000. Yeah, 16,000 points. So I'm working my way up there. So I've been, every time I drive on the road, I do speed tests. I do it on Dish, and I either pick AT&T or Verizon or whatever like that. So go ahead and do a speed test. So make sure you guys support Stetson. Stetson's got a good thing going there. So make sure you check him out. And let's see. Check your texts. Uh-oh. Carlos says, check my text. Let's see. Look, look at this. This guy knows Vegas person. Uh, mm, oh, okay. Well, Well, actually, yeah, I'm not actually, 
a Cure Sun deal. It just that's the radios that IPTT US. That's the parent company. That's the company that has everything. So he is, or that that company there has the push to talk over cellular system. And Kirasan is actually just who they use for a radio vendor. So that's what it is. So, yeah, so I am not a Kirasan dealer. Me and Carlos is not a Kirasan dealer. We are IPTTUS.US dealer. So we're a dealer for the push to talk tech and DMR radios and FM radios, stuff like that. So. So I said, are you a Kirasun dealer? No, I am not. I am not a Kirasun dealer. Me and Carlos is not. We are an IPTT.US dealer. That's what we are. So as long as there's no confusion there. So I don't understand how the millimeter wave range will be improved with that Gigamimo. Oh, okay. Well, I did a live stream. I just watched the uh, last live stream I did. It's called 5G Advanced. I did a presentation there and I showed everybody how that is. But basically you got 4,000, because right now millimeter wave only has like either four by four or eight by eight is what is it as far as MIMO. It doesn't have massive MIMO. So the 5G advanced technology coming out is it's 4,000 antenna modules and it's supposed to have better beam forming and all that kind of stuff. And plus it's a full duplex panel. So that means all the antenna top side will be received the bottom side will be transmit the way the panels are now is that the transmit and receive are at the same spot on the panel so if you put too much power up it wipes out the receive so your receive goes down so you got to lower the power so you don't wipe out your receive but by splitting everything full duplex half and half on there now you can crank up the power all the way up and yet you can still have very sensitive hearing on the on the receive side and you can hear like, see back here, way in the distance, you can hear. That panel will hear stuff way out there, three miles away, indoors, it will pick up millimeter wave. So when Gigamimo comes out, it's going to be crazy. And plus Super Quam when it comes out. That's 16,000 Quam. It's all in 5G advanced. It's amazing. So it, it's they're already testing it. They're already getting good. They're, they're getting three miles indoors on a macro millimeter wave, and they're getting five miles outdoors. They're already testing it and getting it, so... Coming soon. TW does live streams. Oh, that's the person you told me about the live streams. Uh, police calls, crime scenes. He does this. As, oh, so is he kind of like a... Is he kind of like a, a videographer or video guy? He goes out and there's a term for it. I forget what you call it. Oh, I'm trying to think what the term is. You go out there and you 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 videotape a new uh, a crash scene, and then you call radio stations or TV stations and say, "Hey, I got video on this crash," and and then they actually say, "Yes, sir, we will get we'll get the uh, we'll use that for our for our news news show." I can't ma remember what they call them people, but but that's what they do. They go out and go videos and stuff like. That. Is that is that who you're talking about? I'm pretty sure that's what I'm talking about. Let's see, if Kirsten signed up another deal in uh, Las Vegas, they violated existing exclusivity contract. Okay, well, I'm not a Kirsten dealer, so we, I should say we, me and Carl, we are not Kirsten dealer. We don't sell the Kirsten brand. We sell the IPTT brand, and they happen to be the ones that have the radios, and so that's... That happens to be what the parent company, that company uses for their PTT. So, so by us selling you a PTT radio, it just happens to be a Kirsan. It's not a Motorola or any other kind of brand or TalkPod or anything like that. So TW is fully viewers funded. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's good. I thought I'd turn it down. How's it going? How's your day going? It's going great. Just enjoying the weekend. It's a nice day. Do you think T-Mobile will beat Verizon and at and with their cell phone to satellite service? No. I think at and is going to have the best satellite to phone service because AST is doing things pretty good. And with that 
satellite they got. Thing is, the bigger the satellite, the more power you up there, that you better beam forming, spot beaming you have up there is going to be better. So the testing is already done. They've already did a video call on AST on, to an AT&T phone, and it worked great. It was able to talk for five minutes, and it was, it was good resolution and everything. I, don't, I forget what it was. I don't know if it was 480 or 720 or what it was, but they was able to do a, a call, and they was able to get like 10 megabits down download i know elon said he got 14 but he remember he said peak 14 peak so does that mean like the rest of the time it was like between 5 and 10 it peaked out at 40 but ast said they got a continuous uh 10 megabits stream from the satellite so so it's a pretty good system so so but you know he, uh, Elon's got uh, starting those special satellites up just for that service. It's going to work okay, you know. Elon's not a dumb dumb. He, he's pretty smart, so he, he's going he's gonna to do all right. Verizon isn't even doing satellite. Well, right now they haven't set somebody up, but I would say probably by the time launch, you got to remember, Ver Verizon doesn't like speaking of stuff until they do it. You know, Skunky's always saying, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to be first in this. We're going to do this. We're going to have first 5G on Mars, blah, 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 blah. And then AT&T likes to, you know, jump out there and say, we're going to do this. I mean, they said we're going to do air gig too, but they never, it never happened. So the Verizon learned a lesson. You know, they keep their stuff, you know, quiet. And then when they're going to do it, then they'll like pop out all of a sudden, hey, two weeks, we're doing this. Just like when Frontline come out. We didn't even know that was coming. Nobody knew that was even coming. And all of a sudden, bang, you know, we got Frontline. And for Frontline, you guys don't know what Frontline is. It's like uh, FirstNet, but it's the Verizon uh, portion of it. So so that's what that is. Yeah, at t will spend more to get high-quality satellites. Well, they're not spending any money. I mean, they are investing in AST, but it's AST's putting the high-quality satellites up, so... And if you guys haven't seen the satellite, man, just go to AST the website. And look, they got a picture of one up there. The thing is huge. It's like it's it's as big as a house. It's huge. TW sits in his car, listen to Big Fro PD's police scanner, drives a crime scene, live streams the police officers doing their job. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a term for that. I forget what the term is, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what the, the name of was. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, stream set up here. All right, so we're doing just a window. Oh, we'll do the screen here on the screen. All right, I'll turn on the audio now. I know you're going to get some feedback here in the first, but let me mute it. We'll get this thing set up here. Okay, so here we go. So let's talk about push to talk over cellular. It's a pretty cool technology. So here's the IPTT. Now that's that's the company we're a dealer with, not Kirasan. We're a dealer with IPTT. Now it just happens to be that IPTT is a dealer. They're a nationwide dealer. They can sell Kirasan radios to any IPTT customer. So, so that's the way that works. So, so we're going to talk about the benefits of push to talk over cellular, uh, push to talk over the solution over the WAN, which is the wireless access network, like Wi Fi, and then or wide area network, and then Wi Fi LAN. So, what is it? It's a service option for cellular phone network that enables subscribers to use walkie-talkies with unlimited range. So you get nationwide walkie-talkies. A significant advantage of push-to-talkies ability of a single person to reach an active talk group with a single button press. So it's just like the old Nextel. So you push the button, whoever you got set up on that talk group, it keys up all the radio. So, so IPTT has their own servers that does everything. We can, we can get a radio... We can get a radio, we program it to whatever the customer's needs is, whether they need it's for a security company, construction company, or whatever, or a family. Let's say you got a family of five people. You can buy five of these radios, program up, have your own personal talk group, 
And you can have a mommy and daddy talk group where only mommy and daddy's radios are go off, or you can have the all talk group, which means mommy and daddy's radios go off and all the kids' radios go off on one group, or you can have another group set up for just the kids only. So if the kids just want to key up and just go crazy, you know, say, hey, 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 you know, you know how kids play on walkie talkies. So they can do that. So it makes it nice. Plus it has GPS tracking. So you can track your kids. So like if they got that walkie talkie with them in their pocket, and then they, you, you lose them in the park somewheres. All you got to do is just go on, on there and look. And you can see where they're at. So you can get their position. It's pretty cool. And let's see. Users need not make several telephone calls to coordinate with the group. So you don't have to like call this person, call this person. And remember, when you do a party line calling, you can only do three people. You know, you can call somebody, then you can patch in a third person then. So you can do three calls at the max. So you're limited. So with the uh, the radios, you can have a hundred radios on the same same group there. Push to talk over cellular calls simultaneously, similarly provide half duplex community. So it's not full duplex. So it's not like a phone call. Whereas I'm talking to you on the phone, then you can interrupt me. You can talk back and say, no, 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 that's wrong. Or, you know, like you know how when Husband and wife's arguing, you know, it's like, you know, they're talking over each other. So with full duplex, you can talk over each other. But when you're doing the walkie-talkie, you can't hear the other person until you unkey. So, so it is half duplex. This combines the operational advantages of push talk with interference resistance and other virtuals on mobile phones. Yeah. So this is how it works. As far as, you know, you have a dispatcher, you got a management platform, Charging, grouping, all that stuff. You got the server, the software switch, and all that kind of stuff. The uh, public operator, 2G, 3G, 4G, Wi Fi, all that kind of stuff. And so you got uh, the cell phone towers here. They're connected to different devices. You got walkie talkies. You got mobile radios. So we, there is a mobile radio push to talk radio. And then there's a actual smart radio that talks on push to talk. Plus it has DMR plus FM analog in it. So it's a smart radio. It has Android software in it and all that. It even has dual SIM. The one SIM goes for IPTT so we can you could talk. So you have the push to talk over cellular. And then the other side, you could actually put like a, a cheap thing in there like Mint Mobile or something. So you have some data and you can make phone calls with the smart radio and then you got the core network and the controllers and all that stuff so this is how their system is and then when you pay your monthly service it covers the data on your sim card which here's what the advantage is the sim card has at&t verizon and t-mobile and us cellular all four carriers well if you want to call us cellular carrier regional carrier i should say so with those in there like that. So no matter where you drive to, there's a really good, you got a better chance of having a signal. So the radio will tune in to the best uh, quality of service on that SIM card. So when you start losing it, it'll switch because it's always searching all four. So that, and then if you have no service on LTE, if you're on Wi Fi, then your radio will connect to Wi Fi. Then it connects to Wi Fi and then you can do. Same thing. It carries on. So you could be you could be in your office where there's no signal inside, but yet there's Wi-Fi in there. You set up the radios for it. You can actually have service inside. They even have a solution where you can buy a special Wi-Fi hotspot that works with these radios. So it's special that it gives priority access to it, and it goes directly to the servers. So it's set up. So you set one of these in your office where there's no service for LTE, you still have service. So it's a pretty cool system. And then you can cross-link this stuff with trunking radio and DMR. So DMR radios is like for commercial radios, digital mobile radio. And then you got FM is also on there too. So you can connect to FM radios as well. So you can cross-patch that over. So you can have a whole bunch of DMR radios, add in to push to talk nationwide radios, and then now your company can go nationwide. And then in another market area, you can have more DMR radios in a local area and then have that patched through also. So it goes nationwide. So it's it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
We also sell repeaters. So they got repeaters, got dash cams, tracking units, GPS tracking for like heavy equipment. So it's pretty cool. And it uses cellular too. So it, it puts the, it pings it out over cellular. So you know, if, if somebody steals that piece of equipment, you get alert. So you know, somebody stole it. A lot of 4G devices are launching in the market while multitude of devices, DMR and 4G LTE will be released to the market soon. And let's see. Push to talk over cellular. That's POC, Bob. Brings more opportunities and benefits, more target industries, more various types of end users, more attractive for end consumer, easy to use, very simple data services using existing mature 2G, 3G. Of course, 2G shut down here. We don't have that anymore. So, and 3G shut down, but we got a good solid 4G in the United States to reduce CapEx, global coverage, and centralized management with low cost, quick deployment to save time. Low maintenance cost to reduce OPEX. Global push to talk. Now you gotta remember if you go overseas, if you got the American version radio, but you go overseas, it may not have those frequency bands. But like I said, if you go somewhere there's Wi Fi, or guess what you can do? You turn your Wi Fi hotspot on your cell phone. As long as you got Wi Fi here, you got walkie talkie service on your on your phone, on your radio. Let's see. It's got GPS feature. It's got the same features like a trunk radio system. You got Bluetooth, near field communication, remote upgrade over the air. So you do updates. And let's see what else. Easy to expand the network. You just add radios and you just, once you get a code plug, soft, or, you know, it's a software and you, you have everything set up for that company. When you add another radio in, you just go in there and you just add the, the additional five radios. You name whoever you sign them to and you put the talk groups they're allowed to talk on. And then you just do it. And then you do a refresh and then it actually updates. It sends it to each one of the radios. The radios get it over the air through the LTE and it reprograms the radio. So you don't have to like go into the radio shop or the dealer and get it done. So it's pretty cool. High tech stuff. And see, you couldn't do that back in the day with Nextel. You couldn't do that. You actually had to plug it in and you had to program, or you had to go in there and manually add somebody, which was a pain in the butt, too. And then, of course, you got advanced applications and you got third party. And the nice thing about this, too, is you can actually get a FirstNet SIM card. This is FirstNet ready. This is DHS ready, FirstNet ready. So basically, you can use your first net or your uh, yeah your first net SIM card, put it in these push to talk radios, and then you can have the same benefits uh, across there. And you can have set and set up like if you got a notification, so it goes out like okay, you got a fire call or you got a paramedic call, it'll go to your radio and it'll be on your screen. It'll be just like getting a paging call on there, so you'll get it on there. So it's pretty cool. So you got uh, push to talk over cellular versus land mobile. Land mobile radio is just basically a two-way radio, basically two-way radio. So it has uh, either VHF, UHF, 700, 800 megahertz, or 900 megahertz. The most popular, of course, VHF, UHF are like business stuff. But although the Motorola systems out there, they have a DMR system out there too, and they got trunk repeaters, Connect Plus, and all that stuff. So. They, they have all that kind of stuff. Now, we're talking about push to talk over cellular, but also we have the DMR radios that can do Connect Plus too. It's got to say, it's an open, open system. So you can actually do tier three trunking just like Motorola. So, so the DMR side is basically just like Motorola. It's just, it's a different, it's, it's a Cure Sun radio instead of a Motorola radio. So that just happens to be who IPTT picked. Uh, conventional radio, trunking, IP radio. So this is all the features. Let's see. Traditional two-way radio. POC business. So you got terminals. Sustained light. So you don't have to have, so push talk over cell. You don't have to have a license, FCC license to run anything because it uses cellular frequencies and you don't have to have a license. So that's the nice thing about that. And these are the type of businesses you can do. Security, shopping malls, 
do logistics and transportation. So truck drivers can use this system. So if you got a trucking company, most of the big trucking companies already have a completely different system. It basically uses satellite. It has a satellite terminal in the truck. And that's what they use because all these big companies use that. So, but if you got a little company and you just need 20 to 30 radios, and remember you got the mobile radios too, then you can do this to track your trucks. And then you can also put the, the dash cam in so you can you watch it. It's got AI in it. So if the truck driver's falling asleep, it alerts the supervisors and the dispatcher. They'll call you on the phone and say, hey, we got an alert that you're dozing off. And they say, oh, okay, I'm going to go up here and pull over, take a break, get some coffee and all that stuff. So it's a safety thing too. And if your truck becomes missing, gets hijacked, well, you got GPS. They can go track it. So, yeah, it's got a lot of different features and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Push to talk over cellular is way better than Nextel. Nextel was just simply a phone call and a push to talk. That's the only two things that ask. This system that they've designed has got all kinds of other stuff in it. So you got a full dispatching thing, tracking thing. You can even send messages to the phone or the radio, I should say. And so they have all that stuff. Digi so you get the digital trunking features with the cell phone network. No need to build the base stations and infrastructure because it's already built. All activities are monitored by control center, including location, offline, online status, tracking line, all that stuff. No limitation for coverage. So, well, they say global here, but you know, actually it's USA. That's the market that these guys are targeting. They're saying that the USA market's good. Now, if you take this push talk radio and you go out in the desert somewhere and there's no cell phone towers, you're out of luck. Now, there is talk that in the future, they're going to have satellite connectivity to these also. So I don't know. That, that's the future thing. So we'll see if that ever happens coming up. But that would be pretty cool if they would ever have a satellite. You know, maybe Elon will make make a deal with these co this company here and say, hey, you know, we'll set these radios up so that they can do do that. So because you got to think, these, these radios can do band two, band four, band five, and that's what AST uses. So... It would be easy to modify these radios, the firmware and stuff, so that it can do, of course, it'd have to have the 5G chip in it. So this only got the 4G chip in it. So if they do 5G with uh, AST, then but I think it's going to be backwards compliant. So it's going to do LTE. So, so it is possible AT&T could work on these walkie-talkies. Let's see. Makes all that stuff. And here's all the products here. There's all the different radios. There's the the entry level radios. You can have a screen and keypad or not. So some people don't need all that stuff. But it's always good to have the screen because then you can see who you're talking to. And then when they're talking, you can look on the screen and see who's talking. It's like caller ID kind of like thing. So and then you got the heavy duty radio here. This is the it's water resistant, dust resistant, and all that stuff. And then you got the smart radio here. This is one that's got Android in it, a big screen in it, dual SIM, push talk over cellular, and it does FM and DMR. So it does both. So it only puts out two watts on FM and DMR, but that's that's pretty much plenty when you're talking on repeaters and stuff. So, and you could actually use this on GMRS. Get your GMRS license. You can program this. You can talk on the GMRS repeaters. Keep in touch with your family and stuff. And then you can, and then you can still use the push to talk over cellular. And then you got the mobile radios. You got the 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 computer where tracking where, like if you got a company, you can see all your radios that you got out there, and you can instantly talk on any one of them directly. Talk to that radio or talk to the whole group of radios, and do that. So you got they got a a dispatching system that's pretty cool. And remember, this is IPTT. We're an IPT dealer. So this is their platform. So let's talk over. So we've got the server. We got the network management system. We got the dispatcher software. We got the terminals, and you got the end users using the radio. So this is a pretty cool thing here. So, so these are all the ser these is the Kirasun existing POC servers. Now I don't think. See, I'd say I don't think I don't think these are the the servers for the. I, th I think there's a special server in U USA for IPTT.
So I don't think we have worldwide servers, but I think it's just a USA server. But anyways, that's how it works. That's the radios. But that's pretty cool. Got the radios. All that good, happy stuff. And then there's a thing here that says, let's see, where is this about? Where is that right here? I was supposed to say the top 10 reasons. Oh, where, oh, here it is right here. Ten. So here's the top 10 reasons. Well, before we do, let's see what you guys are saying in the comments. Here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I always hate this. I, I wish when I click on something that they would change this where it's highlighted so you know you already clicked on it once, so you know where your spot is. So Let's see. Oh, I think this is where it was. Do you think Timo will beat cell phone chat satellite? Verizon isn't even doing satellite. Well, for now they're not. Uh, My parking lot is soaking wet. It's now raining. Oh, it's raining over there in Cali already? Okay, great. Yeah, it's supposed to rain all day here tomorrow. Xfinity Mobile is set up a certain way. Home Wi-Fi, white spots. Calling. Verizon Network and all that stuff. Yep. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Yes, yes, yes. I wonder what Comcast plans to do. Are they expand their Wi-Fi bands. Are they do are it? They do their six hundred range of bands of T-Mobile. What are you talking about here? Expand their Wi-Fi bands. Oh, you mean put their Wi-Fi service on the telephone poles, telephone or the the cable lines? Well, Comcast probably already expanding all that stuff so they're because they're trying to get their wi-fi expanded out so oh yeah typos yeah yeah i hate that i type something on my phone and then it changes it and then i don't re read it and then i send it and i look and i go oh damn it so sometimes autocorrect is your enemy i mean sometimes it'll pop up and say do you want to change it to this and i say yeah but if you're not what you're not paying attention you're just typing on the keypad you know and you don't check it first then you can accidentally send something out. It sounds crazy. Verizon has spotty coverage in some rural communities. Well, all rural communities have some dead spots. Actually, Verizon has some of the best coverage in, in rural areas. I can show you on the maps, too. I, I've actually showed you guys on the map. So I've showed you where Verizon actually works better than AT&T some places. And T-Mobile, especially for rural. But T-Mobile is densifying pretty good in the cities, but they have to because they're... Their N41 does go far, so they have to densify that stuff. And then the trouble is they densify it too much, and then the N71 transmits too far, and then it N70, N71 interferes with the other sites because it's got twice the range, three times the range of 41. So they have no choice but in, in the dense markets, they got to turn N71 down. And then, of course, when you turn it down, then you don't get as much range, and then it creates almost like a dead spot too. So, I mean... But yeah, the way they're deploying their stuff is a mess. Hot mess. Stop lying. <laughs> That's terrible coverage in world. Well, I'm not lying. I can, I can go on the maps and show places. I mean, there is places in the USA that AT&T has towers that Verizon doesn't. You can find that. But then there's a lot of places that you can go that there's no AT&T towers and there's Verizon towers. Like, go to the west rim of the Grand Canyon. Go there and make a phone call. There, let's see you do that. I mean, I could show you many places on the map. Now, I'm not saying Verizon has all the coverage and all the rural areas. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they do very well. So, Comcast expanding their Wi-Fi, I think, selling their 600 range bands to T-Mobile. There's 600 range bands. What is that? I've seen some t sites that have insane mechanical down tilt to prevent interference on 600 trash network. <laughs> You're exactly right. Yes. I don't know if you noticed that on some of my drone videos I've done. Uh, did you see the N41 tilt on the one drone video I did down in the Keys? They had the N41 down tilted big time because I guess there's probably another user nearby and 
they wanted to use those frequencies but they didn't you can't you can't transmit that frequency beyond a certain point so if there's like a school up there using that for their own little system you can't trans so they down tilt it so the and don't go up that far that's crazy and then you got the at t towers over here in vegas from all the high winds that the panel's about to fall off i don't know if you guys saw that on twitter that was crazy <laughs> all right so top 10 reasons why customer switch to IPTT nationwide push to talk, aka the old Nextel. I, I can't say it's Nextel, I just said the, the old Nextel type tech, you know. Well, first off, let's talk a little bit about the old Nextel. The old Nextel used 850 megahertz, basically band 26. So, band 26 now is called LTE band 26. It was converted from IDAN over to LTE when uh, Sprint and Timo, well, for, first off, Sprint bought Nextel. So they started converting everything over. And then then they convert. And then, of course, in Timo, when the merger happened, they shut down at Band 26. They completely shut it. They don't even use it anymore. So, and now the spectrum's up for sale. That's what the, you've seen in the past, uh, past stuff for whatchamacallit. The big YouTuber, SMT. He, he he did some articles on it, talking about it. So, it's up for sale. I don't think anybody's going to buy it. It's worthless for LTE because it's only like 7 megahertz of bandwidth or some crap like that. 10 at the most. I know there's a guard band figured in there too, so it doesn't hurt public safety. But it's very narrow banded. I mean, to get the full benefit of an LTE channel, you need 20 megahertz. So, a 7 megahertz sliver is just nothing, basically. So for the price for the spectrum, it's not worth because we're not deploying LTE no more. It's 5G time, not, not LTE time. LTE is done. That technology is old. It's outdated. Does it still work? Yeah, it works. Is it going to be around for a while? Yeah, of course it's going to be around. But it's not going to support the high bandwidth users, the massive MIMO, beam forming, all that kind of stuff. And it doesn't fall under real 5G because remember, you have to have new radio equipment to make it a 5G system. If it's got 2x2 two two MIMO and a 20 megahertz channel, it's still the LTE system, the radio system. So, uh-oh, he's still talking at me here. Yeah, that one was insane. It had the skunk apes designing the site. I think the skunk apes was on top of that tower eating it. Hi, Michael. Sorry you're late. That's okay. You can always watch the replay when you're when we're done here too. So been alive for an hour already. Hopefully everybody's hitting that like button, sharing the stream. At one point we had like 25 people in there. Now it dropped down to 12. But it is getting late on the East Coast. So and it's a holiday weekend too. So but I just want to come on here real quick and just show everybody what push to talk over cellular is. Uh let's see. Verizon's live. Yeah, yeah. We show we showed you guys the maps for that area in Louisiana. So you gotta remember there's a lot of pine trees up there. And pine trees are the number one enemy for cellular networks because when the signal hits pine trees, it gets absorbed. It reflects. It doesn't go through. It's like hitting a brick wall. Plus, the pine needles are the same length as like the wavelength of cell phones too. So, just a perfect. It's like a antenna blocker. You know, it's probably, probably, it goes up, it hits it, and it bounces off. You know, so plus p pine needles have a lot of uh, water in it too you know cuz they're they're year year round and they they have a lot of water density in it so yeah and for you people up north the leaves are coming out so get ready for a weaker cell phone coverage because when the leaves all come out you're going to get a lot less rain so now's the time to buy a cell phone booster get you a cell phone booster that way you can maintain your coverage now, i did a live stream on some cell phone boosters too so you want to check it out a cell phone booster in a rural area is a must if you want to have good coverage. So, because especially if you have T-Mobile, because the handoffs are really bad with T-Mobile. You get service, you get no service. Then you get service, you get no service because there's no overlapping of the towers. But if you get a booster and you turn it on, you can have overlapping coverage. So, it'll help you a lot. So, but that's that time of year. Let me see. Okay. So we got lightning fast push to talk over cellular IoT connectivity. So basically the data connection handshake is 200 to 300 milliseconds or less. So that's pretty quick. 
And in case of probably instant voice communications, group call, private call, child and parent grouping, all call, emergency call, and many more. 95% coverage nationwide, plus indoor communications. Now, I want to warn you, it says 95%. Now, it's not 95% coverage of the land in the United States. Because remember this, what, po- what percentage of the land is covered by population? Either houses, businesses, or highways. That's right. 47% of the land mass in USA is covered by population. So only half of this country is populated. So when you say 95% of the population, so you're only set that so basically it's like 45% of the country. And what what makes it nice how they're getting this 95% is you got T-Mobile, you got Verizon, AT&T, and US Cellular. So between four carriers when you overlay all those maps together, that's the coverage. That's how you can get 95% coverage. And that's why IPTT push to talk is going to be good. That's why it's going to be the most reliable out there. And remember, these radios have an external antenna for the uh, GPS and for the LTE. Unlike a phone that has the antennas built in. So you get less range here. And your SIR can be a little higher. The transmit power can a little be higher too. That's one thing I haven't looked up on on these push to talk or sell your radios to see what the what the SAR is. And since it's a handheld radio, you don't put it up to your ear and talk because so that antenna's not near your brain. So by being a handheld device and it's farther away from your body, I think they can get away with the SAR being a little bit higher and a little bit bigger antenna on there so you get more range. So we're we're gonna try to get some demo radios here soon so we can test it out and see how well it does. And of course, you know, me and Carlos are going to test it really good, you know, because me, me and Carlos like testing stuff. And and te- Carlos is the testing king. You know, he tests everything. He buys home internet boxes. He buys phones and speed tie. I mean, so he's the tester. So, you know, he's going to take it out in the desert and he's going to see. And if you could, if you could talk on walkie talkie through the gorge between Las Vegas and St. George, if you can carry on a two-way radio conversation with that radio through the gorge, that's going to be impressive because you got, like I said, you got all four companies that it's going to connect to. So whoever's got the best signal. So if the first half of the gorge, AT&T covers it, it's going to walk on AT&T. And then when it loses it, it's going to switch over rapidly to Verizon. And then let's say at the end of the gorge, then AT&T works better. It's going to switch back over. Now, let's say you go down on the road a little bit, and all of a sudden, Skunky pops up, and it happens to be the, the best signal for, for three miles. Then it'll connect to Skunky, and then you'll have... And then, of course, you go up the road a little bit more, and then it's like, yep, well, that one's gone. So so that's why it's 95% reliability, exactly. Business-grade audio quality. So it's got good audio quality. It's not digital sounding. It always reaches workers' redundancy with 99.9% uptime. So it's got backups for the servers and all that kind of stuff. So as long as one of your cell phone networks work, and then you're good to go. Small, rugged light. So it's it's not big and bulky and huge. The radios are kind of small. It's about this size. It's like the the old Anytone radio. It's kind of, and the antenna is shorter. So I don't have one here to show you guys, but it's pretty, it, the T60 is kind of a small compact radio. And then the, the 700 is like the Anytone 878. It's a little bit bigger. The GP700. And it's water resistant, dust resistant. So and it's about this size. So it's pretty good, pretty good radio. So they're not like over big and bulky. Business only devices to keep employees focused. GPS tracking. So you, so you know where all your people are. You got geofencing. So if the lone worker leaves an area, it even has a panic button on these radios. So basically, if you're working, you're working security, and then all of a sudden, the business that you're watching, uh, some you see a bunch of guys with guns come running towards your door, you can hit the panic button. And then basically, that sends an alarm out to your dispatcher, and then they'll call 911. So they'll, they'll go ahead and call 911, and then they can get help on the way. So, And then you can reach down, you can push the button, and actually you know key the button up while you're returning fire while they're trying to kill you and everything. So 
so that they can hear that there's gunshots going off. And so then they can tell the dispatcher, hey, you know, I just heard gunshots. So, so yeah, so it, it's a safety thing. So it's really good. And, and for family. So what if you have a family member, like a, an older person that can't get around good, and you know how they have them pen things where you hit the button and put, you know, I fall and I can't get up and you push the button and it sends, it goes to alarm place and then they, they call you. If they don't, you don't answer, they call your family and say, hey, uh, Betsy's not responding, you know, she pushed her panic button. Then they can go over and check on her. Or, you know, I'm going to put that button, it connects audio and it, they can say, hey, Betsy, are you okay? And then she says, no, I can't get up. And then so she sends help. Well, guess what you could do with those, these radios? You you can have these for your family. Or you like when you're doing trips and you're talking, like you got multiple cars. You can put one radio in one car and put one in the other car. So you got two cars going down where you can talk back and forth with each other. And then and then you can have one of these radios set up for Granny. So when Granny hits that emergency button, your radio goes off and says, hey, Granny's button put on. So you can get on the radio and say, Granny, are you okay? She reaches up, she pushes the button. She goes, no, I found out I need help. So you, now you can call, directly call the local police or fire and get her help so yeah there's all kinds of different ways you, you can use these radios personal or business let's see oh we got the business apps the dispatch software that increase your productivity so so you can integrate your own system that you got like if you're a hvac company and you you do service calls you can actually send this out there's also a push to talk over cellular radio that's built into a tablet it's like a mobile radio tablet. So it's like a tablet you could put in a company truck and it has all the features, but it's got a screen on it. So, and, you, and it can even have mapping on it. So it gives you directions to where you're going and all that kind of stuff. So there's all kinds of neat stuff that this stuff does. Say audio. Oh, so you can also replay the audio back. Like when people are talking, like if you're one of your, you, you tell one of your workers, Hey, you left uh, the area you're signed. You're supposed to stay inside your zone while you're working security. And then they left. They went to go to McDonald's to get them some trick Donald's. And then you get on the radio as a supervisor and say, hey, you got to get back in your zone. You left your area. And then they say, oh, F you, F you, ah, go crazy. Now you got now you got evidence because now it logs the radio calls on the server. So you can play it back. So when they say, well, I didn't say that, then you can play it right in front of them and say, hey, here's what you said to the, the supervisor. So, you know, it's good for companies. So it makes it where employee accountability is and all that kind of stuff. And emergency button, of course, loan worker. So if you got a worker working alone, this is good because it's got all the building safety. And then there's even a feature, I think, depends on which radio you get, that if you, if the rate, like if you're working, you're standing up and working, your radio is vertical on your belt. But let's say like you're cleaning um, drains and there's some hydrogen sulfide gas that comes up and hits you. And you go unconscious, you fall down on the ground, you're working by yourself, right? Well, now that you're sending horizontal, your radio goes like this. So so when your radio's like this, you're working, you're working, the radio's moving around, or you bend over for a second to get a hose, then you stand back up, so you're good. But all of a sudden, the hydrogen sulfide gas hits you, and you go unconscious. Boop, now you're laying flat on the ground, and this walkie-talkie's on your side, and it's not moving anymore, and it's horizontal like this. Well, there's a timer in there. So after after so many seconds of like this, it actually starts beeping, telling you, get your butt up and move around. Well, guess what? If you're unconscious from some poisonous gas, you ain't getting up. Then the next thing it does, it sends an emergency alert to your dispatcher, and it says, man down. And then they send the paramedics out there. So the paramedics come out there. Oh, goodness sakes. So they resuscitate you, bring you back to life, take you to hospital, and bam, you just saved a life with technology or radio. So... That's just some other things that is pretty cool that this stuff does. So, And the radios are DOT compliant to use in a commercial vehicles, providing a simple, easy push to talk. And plus, they are, let's see, what's the other thing? Uh, they got the military standard 810 for ruggedness. They're also, there's a, uh, I don't think the push to talk over cellular has it intrinsically safe, but I think it's already intrinsically safe just because it's, it's very low power and it's uh, to talk over. I have to check on it and see if it's intrinsically safe for explosive areas. Now we have a DMR radio that does that. It's intrinsically safe. So it's, it's certified for areas like that. So, but yeah, this is a pretty cool system. Yeah. Here's a picture of a worker working. See there. So very, very cool system. Very, very cool. 
And oh, there's I didn't even hear hear a beep. Carlos. You didn't hear the beep? No, you know when somebody comes in the channel? It didn't beep very loud, uh, so I didn't I didn't even know you was in here. And I just looked down and I saw you. Wow, look at that up till were they trying to beam N77 to the skunk apes on the mountain? No. That's a, that's for the <laughs> casino resort world. That's for, oh, the they're customers. trying to beam N77 up to the upper floors? Yeah. Really? That works so good inside. Yeah. Well, when I was staying at Resort World on the 21st floor, I had good... Uh, even though I'm looking down at uh, the stuff, they didn't have these things up tilted, but they were that N77 were great while I was on the 21st floor. Well, now you know why. Wow, that's that's crazy. That's no, this wasn't like this. There was no N77 panels up tilted like that when I stayed. That remember that was September that I stayed there. So they must have just did this because I didn't see anything like that. So, so is that on the south side of the building? Or is that on the north side? That's on the south, uh, on the back end. The back end. The north side? Through the Towards back. Circus Circus? Out. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, my, my room was facing south when I stayed there, so. I was where the big LED sign was at where you was talking about. It's like, I wonder if you could see it inside. Yeah. So when you're inside the room, you can look out your window, but. The LEDs were on the opposite side, so and they projected out. So on the back side, it didn't. So yeah, you didn't. You you couldn't see it. Now, if you was over on the rooms next door, where it kind of curved, yeah, um, I bet you that light kind of shined in from the side. But if you're actually where the 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 LED modules are, you can't see it when you're inside. Yeah. No. So. Oh man. All right. Let's see so. what we got here. Yeah, so how you doing there, Mr. CEO of Southern Nevada Push to Talk Radios? Bro, we're doing we're trying to make stuff happen. Trying. Yeah, we're trying to make stuff happen. Yeah, I'll show you guys the website here too. Here's our website. I'm still doing work on it, so but this this is the the name we come up with. Southern Nevada Satellite Push. We're trying to get satellite stuff too. So Southern Nevada Satellite PTT radios.com. So still working on the website. I got more work to do, but here's a picture of the T60 radio. It shows you all the stuff. So and I'll put this in here if you guys want to check it out. I got to change that too to look at that. The sub page is named Single Project instead of Push to Talk rate, uh, Over Sell Your Radio. So I got to fix that. So it's a work in progress. But you guys, ever, you guys want to check it out. And if you guys know any people that wants to buy radios, push to talk over cellular or the DMR, like uh, you go up here, you click up here, you can go to the DMR FM radio. So get your GMRS license. You can talk on GMRS. You can program these in. So it's pretty good. It's a good license to have. I got my license now. Carlos has got his. So we've been talking on GMRS. I have my amateur radio license. But Carlos is going to get that next. Yeah, so, that's the next goal. Yep. And here's what the mobile radio looks like. IPTT. Yep. Here's the dis. Uh, here's the the solutions. Here, this is the push to talk over cellular dispatch system. It's like having your own thing on your computer. So your your call taker or your customer service rep, they'll have access to all that. They could talk directly to any of the drivers you got out there. Service drivers. You could have a limousine service. You can use this for that too. Pretty cool. Then the push talk radios even have headsets that you can put on. If you get the radio that has Bluetooth in it, you can actually connect the Bluetooth headset, like the shocks headset, like I got here. With this, with the noise cancellation, so you got you can do this shocks headset. It's got voice can or noise cancellation, and you can hear everything. It doesn't block your hearing and your ears. You get one of these, you pair it up to the radio, you turn the Bluetooth on, you connect this up, and guess what? You can hear everything that's going on around you. Plus, you can hear your dispatcher when they say, hey, why are you taking so long? And then you can say, you just reach down, you push the button and say, oh, well, the customers are not out here to the limousine yet. And she's going to say, okay, let me call them. So she calls them on her phone and say, hey, you know, your driver's waiting out there. We only got a limited amount of wait time. 
we're going to have to go to the next call if we don't come out. And then they say, we're coming right down. So they are running out to the down, they all jump in the limo and then they go. So, so it's good communications to have. So it's really good for any business. And if you got a family, if you got kids, give them one of these radios, right? And guess what? If they got this radio on you and they're on them and you want to see where they're at, you can go on here and you can see there's mapping on here. Look, you can see where they've been, everything. If they got the radio on them and they're driving a car around, guess what? You're going 100 mile an hour down this road. When they get home, you can say, why was he going 100 mile an hour? Oh, I was just racing a uh, a mini, mini, Dad. I was seeing if I could beat him, but he smoked me. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, it's got all this safe, safe, safety features here. So. It's got voice dispatching, G GPS, and geofencing, track playback. You can play back the track that they want. SOS alarm. See all that? Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. And then, then here's another thing you can do. We sell dash cams. You want a dash cam for your car? It uploads in the LTE video. It uploads it to the cloud server so you can get it. So it has location overlapping it. So so if if the cops, you know, the, the Tom unit on the motorcycle, as we call them down here, pulls you over and gives you a ticket and said you was going 65 and a 35, and you can look at them and say, I'll see you in court because guess what? I wasn't going that fast. I was going 35. And everything is recorded on my dash cam. So you go in front of the judge, you pull this up, and you show the judge. Like, okay, watch me drive. So you got video showing how fast you're going, and then the GPS showing how fast. And you can tell. They all match up. And then you can go to court with it, and the judge says, wow, Mr. Tom, you, know, you made a mistake. You clocked the wrong car. Dismissed. So this can, and then if somebody hits you and run, you get their license number off there and all that good stuff. So, so yeah, so these dash cams are awesome. And for companies, it's got AI in it. Carlos's favorite thing, AI. So when this camera's running, let's say like you're falling asleep. Well, this thing goes off and says, hey, you're falling asleep. Wake up. This tells you that. It wakes you up. And then if you if you ignore this, it'll actually send a message out to your dispatcher or your supervisor. And it tells you, hey, you got a sleepy driver on the road and truck, whatever, whatever, whatever. So this is a good safety thing to have. So so it's pretty cool. And if you're an Uber driver, if you're oh, an yeah. Uber driver, for Uber, it's this is best. good because see, look, it, it records best. in the cab. Yeah, it, it, it records in the cab too. So so if somebody says, Oh, well. You raped me. You raped me. Well, you play this back. So, no, I was driving the whole time. So, so there you go. So, not if somebody even, tries to get money off not, you, it, what if they got, mm -hmm. what if they get carjacked? Everything's being uploaded to the cloud if they got carjacked. So, now it's that's true. You got video. You know? And then you can get your cell phone out and then you can show the cops. Oh, here's where he at now. He's going 60 well, miles an hour westbound on this road. Yep. Uh, no, get your car back. Pretty cool. Yep. And then we also sell this too. We have the cell tracker. And this is this uses GPS and cell phone. It's got a SIM card on this thing. You can put the, you can hide this anywhere in your car and it, tra it tracks you. Puts you on the map and everything. So So this is another thing we can sell. So yeah, we got all kinds of cellular technology integrated into the the radio stuff. So we got the uh, push to talk over cell. Here, here's the heavy duty radio here, the GP 700. So this one here, it's really nice. Water resistant, oh, dust resistant. How are you? Oh, there's Carlos on GMRS. Yeah, he's talking on here, right here. So there. GMRS, baby. Here you're going to hear Carlos talking. I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? Just here working, doing the door dash. There you go. There you go. That's GMRS, man. 35 bucks, you can get your license. You can buy a radio from us. We'll get you on the air for sure. Here's the smart radio I was telling you guys about, the TD-80. So this thing is really cool. It's got FM, DMR, and Android, and make phone calls, and push to talk over cellular. Wi-Fi, GPS. It's got near field communication, man down button, all that stuff. It's got Type C port for charging. 
got a camera in it. It does 1080p video, which is not 4K60, but hey, you got to remember, it's a smart radio. It does a little of everything, so, so it's pretty cool. And then let's see what else we got up here. So I got to finish this website here. Well, that's pretty much everything. Oh, I don't, I don't have the repeaters up here yet. So, but we, we sell uh, repeaters too. So if, if you and your family wants to get your own repeater, you can actually buy a DMR repeater from us, buy some radios and then put it up. If you got a, a tower at your house, you can put an antenna and tower up and you can actually put this repeater up. Like if you have a farm, let's say you got a farm out in somewhere and you want to put your own DMR repeater up. You can put your own DMR repeater up out there on the farm and have your own private communication. So we do all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool. So let's see what else. Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. Let's see. Oh, okay. We got that one. Yeah, that was insane. He had skunk apes designing their sites. Yes. Oh, uh, sorry you're late. Okay. All right. Well, we already give away the prize, $100 prize. No, I'm just kidding. We didn't give, do no giveaways today. Oh, maybe in the future we'll do a giveaway. So, and remember, if any of you guys brings me a, me and Carlos, a customer that wants to buy a bunch of these radios, like 10, 15, 20 radios, they buy a whole system from us. We're going to give you a 25% commission off it. So we're, we're going to make it worth your while. So you just bring us the person that wants to get the service. Me and Carlos will talk to them. We'll set up a plan. We'll get them set up, and then and, we, and we're a dealer. We can sell this stuff nationwide, all fifty states. So there's no exclusivity here. It's IPTT is a nationwide company that sells the push to talk system on DMR radio. So so we we can sell in all fifty states. So wait, what was it? T-Mobile plans to buy six hundred mega spectrum bands from. Comcast, expanding mobile. Yeah, well, they should. That would, that would be awesome because that will help out with their... Because some areas, they only have 5, 10, or 15 megahertz. So if they buy more, they can get up to a 20 megahertz channel on N71. That will definitely help them. Well, a little bit. For the money they buy the Spectrum for N71, it's not that good. It's not It's not good enough. you got to remember, N71 is LTE. It's got limitations. Yeah, sure, it's low band. Sure, it's got good range, but don't have the capacity. It's not 5G ready, even though, sure, you can go upgrade the software on the baseband, make it have a 5G icon. Yep. You can make it make it have the new radio transmit, but what is NR? What does NR stand for? It stands for new radio so what happens if you take in old radio and lte antenna and radio and you convert it to 5g is that a new radio no it's not a new radio and that's why it's fake 5g it's not it has to be a new radio nr that's what 5g is so you got to have big bandwidth 40 60 80 100 200 400 megahertz channels you got to have at least 64 by 64 massive MIO or better to really get good beam forming. Sure, 32 by 32 is the very beginning of massive MIO, but 32 by 32 is not very efficient, not very good. So you need 64 or 64 and higher. Typically, you need probably 256 by 256 for N41. That's what T-Mobile needs. And then if you do N77, you need at least 128 by 128 with the full duplex panel. So... We'll see what happens in the future, but you may see everything get ripped and replaced soon. So, never know. We'll see what happens. But thank you, Don. How you doing? Happy four-year anniversary. Yes. If you guys missed it, I did my four-year anniversary stream on the 13th of this month. So, yeah. Hard to believe it's been four years. So, I'm trying to I'm trying to get you guys a live stream every week. So, I'm trying really hard. So, so next week, we'll see what my schedule's like. And I might try to do me a downtown strip video like you see in the background. There, so how you guys like that uh, scenery down there on the green screen? You need, you need a free month. 
Oh, yeah, I need to do Fremont. Well, I'm going to be working at Fremont every Friday night. Of course, I can't live stream while I'm working. Can't do that. But I can do some speed testing, get you some more five gig tests on N261. We got some we got some fuzziness going over here in this light. Hello, Don. I gotta get more light. More light. Don't have quite enough light. But yeah. So we're trying to get you another live stream. Thanks, Carlos, for doing that live stream the other night. That was that was cool. It was good. But anyways, let's see. What else can we talk about tonight? Well, we you guys in the in the comments have any questions over push to talk over cellular of maybe how it works? I mean, basically it's basically it's just like a cell phone. Okay, a cell phone, you know, cell phone has a SIM card in it, connects to the towers. So you got voice and data. Well, when you take a push to talk radio, stick the SIM card in, now it uses the LTE bands to talk over the radio. It goes to the server, then the server goes to the other radios. So if you got a hundred radios out there, your radio goes to the server and then it simultaneously puts it out to the, all the other hundred, hundred ones. So then when another radio keys up, it goes to the server and then the server broadcasts it out to all the radios is actually tuned at the same time in that frequency, not frequency, but that talk group. So that's what it uses. It uses yep. talk groups kind of like, kind of like the police use, you know, the police radio systems, the trunking system. So it kind of does that. All right. Here's a question. How do we contact you and Los with a lead? Oh, well, that's easy. Yeah, you can uh, DM us or you can call the number on us. On, well, is the number on the screen here? I thought I had a number on here. I, 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 the number should be on the Google listing. Well, the Google listing's not live yet. Oh, shit. I thought it was. Uh, yeah. Well, here, I'll just put it right in here. Let's see. I think this is the number. Let's see. I, I'm pretty sure this is the number. Let's see. Hey, Ricky, there was somebody on the GMRS uh -huh. right now. They're making uh, sucking noises. Oh, so you no. already know. You already know what Joe said. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There's 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 clowns out there likes to jam frequencies and stuff. I know. Oh, I was close on the number. At least they could yeah, talk. Well, here, you know what? I would give them credit if they were trying to jam it, but they were t actually uh -huh. having a conversation with us and not have a license or something. You know, at least that. Uh -huh. At least then. At least then they get some credit, but when they're trying to play all those games, man, yeah, come on, man. Yep, for sure. Yeah, there's the number right there. So that's the number we have set up for the company right there. So that is Southern Nevada Push to Talk or Satellite Push to Talk Radios.com. So, yeah. So let me see. Let me put this back in here. Let's see, Push to Talk over radios. Yeah, and the number's right. on the website, too. So what, Ricky? You going to hit yeah. Fremont or what? I don't know. You might as well. So there's the number. There's the number again. There's the there's the actual website. You got pictures of radio. I'm going to be doing some more working on it over the weekend. So while everybody's having fun, partying and all that kind of stuff, having picnics and stuff, Ricky's going to be sitting here working on the website. So, so we're hoping to get some sales pretty good here, too, because I got to I got to pay the bill for the website, so we got to sell some radio. So, yeah, what I'm so thinking, yeah, what I'm what I'm thinking, Ricky, you have free, you have free month tonight. <laughs> oh no, not tonight! No, no, no. <laughs> Why not, man? Two packed holiday weekend, spring break. Oh, dude! Yeah, that, Did you that, see all the people that, out there when you was there? Holy crap! The people love that, bro. When you're live, when you're live streaming, bro, the the downtown that's what they love, bro. Yeah, they love seeing the that's dancing. True. They love seeing the, you know, the the rear ends of the. Oh yeah, you know, and also the the, uh, the feathers. <laughs> they yeah, like, they yeah, they like they like the feathers. Look at all these planes coming in, dude. Do you see all these planes coming in? No. I'm looking here. Right now, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 13 planes coming in for formation to land at the airport here. There's a lot of people coming in town. Wow. Lots of flights. And you got to remember, these planes got like 200 people per flight on, you know. No. Just just think about how many people is coming in. 13 times 200. That's just in a five-minute span. It's crazy. Well, let's see what's happening out there with the fire department. I heard sirens a minute ago. Let's see where they were going here. All the calls over with. But yeah, the man, medical like, call on what, a lot of, Rose. What, what a lot of people don't understand, man, is it's always good to have a backup way of communications just because you never, never, never know if something just goes down. And it's always good just to have that extra sense of security. At least, you know, you can talk to your family members or something just in yeah. case. Cause, because, like, yeah. GMRS, you know, amateur radio, and even in, in an emergency, the FCC is not going to sit here and, and hammer you because you don't have your license, you know, if it's an emergency, mm -hmm. you know, like you, you need to communicate with your, you know, your lost wife or whatever, then, you know, they're not going to sit here and, oh, we're going to arrest you because you communicated on the and for nothing. No, it's an emergency. They uh -huh. allow that. Yeah, that's true. You can use, you can use stuff for emergencies. That's for sure. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, ever since emergency is good. And plus, it's a good hobby, you know, for us enthusiasts, like something different. Yeah. You know, it, GMRS is a good hobby. Cell phones. It's good for emergencies. Like I said, well, what happens when all the cell phones go down? And your whole family has GMRS radios, right? If, if you got those radios, yeah. you can go on the repeater and you can talk instantly to all the and say, okay, hey, everybody go to this point. You can even, you can have a have code set up. You know, go to location one. Or go to location two, and you have it all memorized, and and you can even have it like text yourself in your phone what location one is and all that, and the directions and all that. And even if you don't have no service, you can go on Google Maps. You can download Google Maps for offline use. I recommend that to everybody. Go on your phone, oh. download Google Maps for your off first offload. Is calling me. Oh no! Your first son is calling me. <laughs> So you do that. You, you go and you download Google Maps offline version. So guess what? If you have no cellular signal, all that data is on there. So you have the whole state area where you're at. So you can walk around and navigate and find your way around without no cellular service. Highly recommend that. So download offline maps. Make sure it's always up to date. Because you could do a whole tri-state area, a whole state area, because it lets you do a whole box. Plus, you do multiple maps. You could do like a map of this area, a map of this area. So... And you can store it on your phone, and then let's say something happens, you get on your GMR, oh, go to location one. So you know where that's at, so you have it saved in your waypoints. You can save it in your favorites. So you just click on it, right? It uses GPS from the sky, and then you say navigate, either driving or walking, and then you go to that location one point, and your whole family is now united during an emergency. So you got to be prepared out there. So so number one, get a GMRS license. If you, get, if you have a whole family, only one person gets it. So dad goes online, signs up for GMRS. He gets a license. He gets a call sign. Now his family can use it. So wife and kids can all use it under his call sign. So it's $135 charge for the whole family. You got to do it. And if there's no repeaters working, you can actually use the regular channels. One one through seven and, and 15 through 22. You can use them direct radio to radio without a repeater. So you can do that too. You don't want to use 8 to 14 because those are low power. It's only half a watt. Whereas on GMRS, you can use two, or well, five watts. You can use five watts. So you can use a little bit more power. Those little family radio services are very limited. You can't talk on the GMRS repeaters. And you're limited to only like a half a watt on all the channels. So you get limited range. So... Yeah, I'm looking at this low pressure system off the coast of Sacramento or California, San Diego. That low pressure is pretty strong, Carlos. It's 993 millibars. And it's going to go towards LA. Look at that. 
by noon, and then then the rain comes. Let's see, then where's the slow pressure go? Then it spins slowly down to Los Angeles, and then it starts losing all of its water and energy. And then the low pressure goes down to Mexico, actually, I think. Oh, no, it goes over to Texas. On Monday, it'll be over in Texas. Oh, wait a minute, not Texas. Is that another low? Oh, there's another low over Colorado. Man, look at all those fires. There's a lot of fires in the Mid-South and Midwest. A lot of grass fires. You can see it on the map here. This has got the hot spots for the mapping. This is windy.com. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So Kansas, 995 millibars. The one over Los Angeles is going to go down. It's actually going to dissipate. When it gets to Mexico, it's going to, like, die. And then by Tuesday, oh, look at Tuesday. Oh, my God. Tuesday, high pressure, blue skies, man. I might just fly the drone. Tuesday, get you guys some more cell tower drone videos. And then there's another big high pressure coming down. Oh, the wind's going to come back again, it looks like. Oh, there's another low pressure. Man, Super El Nino is making it really, really crazy here. we got highs and lows and pressure gradients and high winds and crazy stuff. Hold on here. It's crazy. All right, let's see what else here. See what you guys are saying in the chat. We're going to just do a quick live stream tonight. We've been live for an hour and 45 minutes. So we're going to go 15 more minutes. There's only six people left. So everybody's already gone for the night. It's East Coast time. Everybody's going to sleep. So, so it's time to end this thing. So if you Ricky. got any last minute questions, don't forget to answer the poll the question. Answer the poll question. Hopefully everybody answered the poll question. Let's see. Do the poll question. Man, I-15 is a mess over there where the construction is. It's crazy. Always a mess over there. Let's see. It's going through here. Where's my other page out here with the stuff is here? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, that's not it. Gosh, I hate to, I hate trying to find my stuff here. Okay, where is it here? I hate, I hate trying to find these pages. I don't like Windows Eleven. When you have multiple tabs open, you can't nick, you can't find your stuff. Yep, I don't know where it's at. It's not that page. But this page? Nope, not that page. Goodness sakes. I don't know where it's at. Can't find it. Huh. I truly, truly hate this. I won't pull the mapping page up just in case you guys got questions about that. So what, Casey? Are you oh, going well. to do OnlyFans to make your dad proud? And what's oh, my crazy God. Is when you do Stop only it. Fans Dude, we're live streaming. Don't do that. What are you doing? You bonkers? Nuts? Crazy? Ricky, you local, this local Ono? Local Ono. Local oil. Let's see. I can't find this page. Nope. Nope. Gosh. Where's the side? It ain't there. It ain't there. I hate it. I hate it. I can never find what I want. Maybe it's here. Nope. Not that page. It was this page. Nope, not that page. This is crazy. I can't find it. I give up. I can't find my uh, web page here. So I give up. Anyways. All right. So let's see. 
Yep, there's the phone number, 725-222-8925. Good number, yeah. So you can send text messages to that number, or you can call it. And of course, if we don't call or if we don't answer for whatever reason, you can just leave a message. But I got set to ring, so I'm not, but we'll definitely get back with you. You have a great radio voice. I do. Holy crap. I got a great radio voice. So you're saying I missed my calling? I should have been a talk show host. I could have did pretty good. So well, what's what's that famous talk show dude? Well, besides Tucker Carlson, there's another guy. What's the one that's on XM Radio now? The guy that's... uh, Crap, I can't remember what his name is. But anyways. Yeah, that's true. All right, six people left. Everybody's bailed out on us. They left, so we're going to end this live stream. So thanks for tuning in and learning about Push to Talk over cellular and learning about our walkie talkie company so friend about ricky side we'll see you guys later and we're going to end this stream but definitely like talk radio npr oh wow so yeah wow that's crazy so well it kind of helps too this microphone here kind of gives you gives you a studio quality mic you know so it was like so in the left corner see and i even got the soundboard so i can even do this so like when uh, smt comes in here the big youtuber we always come in here and you know we we get the soundboard going and we do all that stuff so so what we do when when smt comes in here we always do this we go and in this court we got smt the big youtuber and in this corner we got Zero cool here with all the RF facts, and we're going to give you a wild and crazy show. Stand by. Yeah, so that's that's I mean, it's all about art and stuff. You get the soundboard, you know, you just get creative with your voice. And here's the biggest thing: this some people should not be on YouTube, and some people should not be on talk shows. Some people should not be on the weather channels. Because this is what they do. They get up in front of the screen to go, um, over here, um, honestly, I think this low pressure is going to make a rainstorm um, over here. Honestly, fact of the matter is, um, and, or, they do all that crap. And that's not how, that you, you got to be a good speaker. You got to get a good flow of information. So you got to talk. No. Nobody wants to hear a bunch of bullshit or fill in words and stuff like that. So when you talk on the radio, especially, yeah. Could you imagine if you're a police officer and you go on the radio and you key up and you say, This is 356 Central uh, Tom Unit here. I have a traffic stop. Um, we're over here. Honestly, I think we're close to Winn Dixie on. Um, over here and or over oh no we're over here by oh we're on smith street and the plate number is br549 blah 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 you know and then it's like okay well and it looks like there's oh it's ohio license plate and it's occupied uh three time three people i think is in the car i'll let you know when i get out and i walk up to the car and honestly hopefully they don't have a gun and shoot me now imagine if every officer talked like that on the radio because while he was jibber jabbering all that there could have been an officer on a foot chase trying to chase somebody and he's tying up the radio you got to get quickly you know it's not like a rag chew session like you do on gmrs or like amateur radio but when you're in commercial communication, like our police communication, fire, you just got to get to the point and say what you got to say. So, and then when you're live streaming or you're being a broadcast, uh, can you imagine a weatherman taking 15 minutes to tell you the weather? Most people would tune away and go. They would be gone. It's like, I ain't listening to this jackass. So you got to go good, smooth flow with the words. And, and, and plus you got to be kind of comical and funny and jokingly. And say, well, the skunk apes are out today. I think they're going to eat all the fiber off the tower. 
you do crazy stuff like that. That's what gets you a crowd. People like watching you and stuff. So yeah, this YouTube stuff's not easy. It takes talent and it's a lot of fun and stuff, but I thank you for your comments. Thank you, Don. I do the best I can. I sure don't want to make anybody sad. Or make anybody shake their head. And uh, don't I don't want no skunk geeks coming to get me either. So, so and I don't want to be flushed down the toilet. So there we go. We're having all this fun. <laughs> she says good night. Oh, hello, Bogranta. How you doing, man? Yeah. How you doing? All right, Rick. <laughs> good night. Good night, Ricky. Good night, everybody. Mod squad, live crew. Gets you everybody on the replay. I had Boost Mobile, my grandpa, and Nextel for business. Yeah. As long as you're pretty, anything goes. Oh, shit. Well, I think I'm far from being pretty, so I guess, yeah. You know, good thing I'm kind of crazy and artistic and funny and stuff because nobody would watch me because I'm ugly. I'm old and ugly. Michael's here. Oh, that's a different Michael. Oh, Mr. Morgan here. All right. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. With you, S. Sellier, see how I deciphered that, being part of your business, I may be able to send you guys some contractors getting ready for the spring work season. Yes, that's true. Yep, the U.S. Sellier is on our SIM cards for our walkie-talkies. So if they have good U.S. Sellier coverage, they could use our walkie-talkies. That is true. Thank you so much, guys. And we'll see you on the next live stream. Maybe a surprise pop one in over the weekend, but it's a holiday weekend. Probably not many to watch. So, but we'll definitely see everybody next week. Depends on what my uh, schedule is. I already know what my schedule is next week. So, we'll have to see what the schedule is. So, all right. So, see you later. Don says funny sound effect would be a toilet flushing. Yeah, of course. And of course, we uh, we got our other one. We got our favorite person here. Yeah, we got <laughs> we we got to do that one there. Or, or we got to do our favorite thing, you know, you know. You're fired. There we go. <laughs> but soundboard's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. We can even have a dance party here, too. Watch it. We can do it. All right. With that, we're going to get out of here. See you later. Oh, I don't know if I put myself backstage. You can hear me now. But anyways, enjoy the music. And we're going to do a couple drone videos. So you enjoy the drone videos while we end this stream.